Hi, here we are demonstrating project of uh, device load monitor with programmable energy for energy audit. So the main purpose of this project is to calculate the load for a particular time duration. Nothing much if we are uh, using a load for a uh, one hour of duration or a two hour of duration. So in order to inform the how much of uh, energy will be, uh, will be consumed by this load and how much of bill will be generated if the particular load will be used for the particular time of the duration nothing but if you are using here 200 watts of bulb so it will consume 1000 watts of power in 5 hours so here from the uh, these buttons control buttons we need to set the tariff as well as the particular tariff how much of duration we need to calculate what is the total estimated cost means how much of bill can be generated if you, you we use this bulb for the particular time of duration so now so if we set for 5 rupees per watt per kilowatt sorry so the but this bulb will consume 1000 watts for 5 hours so means 5 rupees and if we uh, inform to the microcontroller to calculate for 10 hours then it's going to be the 5 into the particular load into and particular time so 5 into this is going to be 200 watts so 0.2 into 10 hours so like so like this so 5 rupees of tariff and uh, 0 0.2 uh, kilowatt hours if we place for 20 hours then the total bill is going to be the 20 rupees so like this if we place a 60 watts bulb so it will be calculated in this manner so let us see the demonstration so we need to connect the connect the two cables one thing is power cable so the and uh, microcontroller so directly we are using 5 volts adapter so after microcontroller connected we will see the welcome message on the lcd and we will ask for the enter tariff in indian rupees so this second and third are used to increase and decreasing so if you hold it continuously so it will be increased incremented and this is decrementing so let us see I am placing it for 5 rupees and then we should press the set so after pressing set it will show that set was done with a particular tariff and then hours so let us see calculation of 10 hours and set so set it will show the confirmation and it will ask for the press normal switch in order to calculate so now this means for the uh, tariff of 5 rupees and for this bulb if we use this bulb for 20 hour, uh, 10 hours so then what is the estimated bill it can generate so then press normal so now it's calculating the bulb will getting switched on by with the help of relay so it will keep on calculating till you connect this load so if you want to calculate with the same tariff and same duration with the other load just disconnect the bulb manually and connect the bulb so place the bulb other bulb so it's showing that now initially it will uh, showing the normal basic reading and then after it will settle down So based on the load we have connected to this uh, system so if it is a more load so it will uh, take the less time to calculate if we connect the low rating load it will take more time to calculate right so as we place the 200 watts bulb so it is an incandescent uh, resistive bulb so it uh, coming to near to the 0.17 kilowatt that is nothing but 170 watts so and the bill calculated 5 into 0 0.17 into 10 hours so the bill will be shown so if we use this 200 watts bulb so it will it will be shown so it is keep on calculating so based on any malfunction is going on after two to three readings it will generate the exact value so now if i want to calculate that with another load of 60 watts bulb we connected now and uh, so I want to set the tariff rate is going to be the 2 rupees 50 paisa 
and uh, I want to calculate the same for only zero was calculated. Wait a second. So two rupees fifty paisa search, and then I want to calculate it for ten hours same, and then search, and now press normal. So it will take more time if we use the low wattage of bulb. So while the system is calculating the average, so now it's getting the it's showing around of 20 watts bulb only it will take some time to calculate that. So before calculating the final calculation, let me explain the project component wise. So we are using the energy meter. This is a digital energy meter. So we are getting the LED output. As we know that there will be a one LED on any every energy meter. So it will blink based on the load connected. So generally the rating of the LED blinking is going to be the 1200 milliseconds. If the duration between the two blinks, if it is a 200 milliseconds, then the connected load was 1000 watts. This is the rating of the normal basic energy meter. And that particular LED output will be given to the microcontroller through this optocoupler. So you can see that reading uh, got changed. So it will be finalized after that. So let me uh, have this. So in order to explain you the component wise clearly. And now, so we are going to interface our energy meter to the microcontroller through the PC817 optocoupler. Why? Because if is there any heavy voltage generated and coming pulses coming from this energy meter LED, in order to protect this microcontroller, we are using the optocoupler. So it is optically coupled. So if anything damaged, only the optocoupler will get damaged by replacing that. So we can keep on working the project. And after getting the input from this optocoupler, the microcontroller will calculate the time gap between the two pulses from this energy meter and based on the time microcontroller will calculate the wattage of this load and it will take the input from this control buttons like set increment decrement and normal based on the input from this control buttons the status will be displayed on the LCD as is shown and the relay will be controlled so coming to this microcontroller we are using pic 16f72 28 pin microcontroller so from here directly we are going to provide the 5 volts power supply and this is the on off switch capacitor in order to provide uh, remove the current pul uh, any voltage pulses will be while controller is working and this one is a reset switch so in order to restart the microcontroller just uh, press that and this is a power LED indication so once you enter these details this program LED will blink two times as the microcontroller will start execution the final section and this control buttons interface at C0, C1, C2, C3 respectively and LCD interface at B2 to B7 and relay interface at C7 and uh, optocoupler directly interface at A4 because A4 is a timer input to the PIC microcontroller and from here directly we are going to provide the 5 volts power supply to the relay section also okay and this is 16 by 2 LCD and this is the electromagnetic relay so which is 5 volt operated so the microcontroller can't control directly this electromagnetic relay that's why we are using a transistor microcontroller will give the trigger to the transistor the transistor will switch on this relay by provide switching this 5 volts power supply to this relay and this relay will allow this 230 volts which is coming from the energy meter to the bulb so in this manner we are going to control the bulb through relay and through transistor from the microcontroller so this is the main execution of the whole project thank you